Hello guys, welcome back to Soul Shower and welcome to today's Summer Solstice Flow. This is one of my favorite classes to film every single year, every time it comes around. It also falls on International Yoga Day, which is the 21st of June. So it all just feels very, very, very fitting. This idea behind the summer solstice is this transition into summer. It's a step into the light. It's a tuning into this fiery, fun, powerful energy. And whilst in the past, a lot of our classes around the summer solstice have been about that fire and creating heat, as I was thinking about what I wanted to create this year, I was really tuning into this idea of tapas. And tapas is a concept of fiery heat, but also this fiery cleansing. And this is what I really, really wanted to infuse into this practice, is this idea of creating heat to cleanse. And this idea that as we move into the summer solstice, how can we release any versions of ourselves that are no longer serving us when we want to step into our highest this summer. So with that being said, when you are ready, come and meet me on your mat. We're gonna start in a comfortable seat. So whatever that looks like for you, allowing the shoulders to move away from the ears, allowing the eyes to close down. And as you're here, just allowing the right hand to place onto the belly. Starting to breathe into the belly space, filling it up. Tuning into the energy of our Manipura solar plexus chakra. This is where we hold so much of our inner power, our fire, our strength. Taking this moment to breathe into that energy, allowing it to grow. Imagining here, you could call all of your energy onto the mat. So often we scatter this energy, but can you call every part of you here? Allowing the next breath to be the deepest breath you've taken all day, feel the belly rise. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. As you inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, placing the left hand down, reaching the right arm over. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms around, swapping sides. Exhale, going over to the opposite side. Maybe this time you come onto the elbow. Inhaling here. Exhale, sweep. Inhale. Exhale, sweeping the arms around, and we're making our way to all fours. Shoulders are over the wrists, hips are over the knees as you arrive here. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, gazing up. Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, rounding back. Inhale, brings you forward. Exhale, round back, closing down the eyes and just allowing this to be intuitive. And as you do this, I really want you to begin to take up space. So maybe you're taking big circles around the mat. Maybe you're taking really expressive ones. This time of shifting into summer is one to really allow yourself to shine in all of your glory, to take up space. So can you begin to do so already within your practice? On your next exhale, arriving back at a neutral spine. Inhale, start to reach the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread it under, coming onto the right cheek, reaching the left arm forwards. Now as you're here, shifting the weight into the right knee, begin to see if you can come up onto the left toes. Maybe you find you can hover the toes, finding that awareness of the core. Deep inhale, exhale, release. Reaching that right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, circle it back. Inhale, circle it forwards. Reaching that right arm forwards, lifting the left leg up. From here, bend the back knee, kicking into the hand with the ankle. 
Inhale, open up the heart, well done. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, threading it under. Coming onto the left cheek, reaching the right arm forward. From here, start to come up onto the right toes, pushing the weight into that left knee. Maybe you find you can lift the toes up high. Find your core, it will support you here. Inhale. Exhale, dropping it down with control. Inhale, left arm reaches up, take circles back. And then forwards. From here, left arm reaches forwards, right leg extends. Bend the back knee, reach the left arm up and over, catching the ankle, and as you inhale, kicking into the hand. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. Give the shoulders a little wiggle if they need it. And then from here, we're tucking the toes under and beginning to hover the knees. Tuning into that solar plexus space while well done. Finding your inner fire. And as you exhale, tilting the hips up and back, making your way to your first downward facing dog. As you're here, you can begin to bend one knee and then the other. Just feeling into this down dog, how does it feel? Allowing yourself to begin to use the Ujjayi breath if it's in your practice. This is a deep oceanic breath that comes from the back of the throat, allowing it to move through the nose. Then on your next inhale, start to walk the feet towards the hands, taking as many steps as you need. Fingers come to big toes, bend the knees and fold forwards, beginning to rock from side to side. Well done. Taking deep inhales and exhales. As you inhale, roll up the spine in three, two, one, reaching the arms up above the head. Hands come to heart center, closing down the eyes. As you're here, taking a moment to set an intention for our practice today. Begin to tune into any spaces within your life that are no longer serving you. What is it that you're ready to cleanse and release as we move into a new season of our lives? Allowing this intention to be around whatever it is you're choosing to fiery cleanse in this practice. Affirming it inwards. Taking a deep breath in, fill the body. Lion's breath, sigh it out. As you inhale, reach the arms up, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, diving forwards, palms come to the ground. Inhale, lift halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to your plank, lower halfway. Inhale, lift the chest for up dog or cobra. Exhale, we shift it back, downward facing dog. As you're here, rolling the shoulders away from the ears, pushing the chest back towards the thighs. Option for a spinal wave, if that would feel good in the body. And as we're here, just beginning to really find that breath again. We're moving through another round of Surya Namaskara A, sun salutations the salute and love, the energy that the sun brings, fresh perspective, newfound energy towards what we dream of. As you inhale, step or hop forwards, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold, release the neck. Inhale, sweep the arms up, Adrahastasana. Exhale, hands come to heart center, standing tall in Tadasana mountain pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. As you inhale, reach the arms up, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, diving forwards, release the neck. 
Inhale, lifting halfway, flat in the back. As you exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, we meet, downward facing dog. As you're here, taking a deep breath in, fill the body. And as you exhale, roll the shoulders away from the ears, well done. Allowing the heels to begin to soften down and pushing the chest back even more. If it comes into a little bit of a heart opener, I don't mind today. As you inhale, lifting the right leg up towards the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip, pushing the foot over towards the left side of the mat and keeping the shoulders level. Deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose, tuck it in. Inhale, extend it up. Exhale, knee towards right elbow. Inhale, extend it up. Exhale, knee towards opposite elbow. Shoot the foot through as we reach the left arm up for a fallen triangle. Exhale, left hand comes down. Right leg lifts. Inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, inhale, sweep the arms up. Finding Anjali Asana, low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Start to twist towards the right side, really tucking in through the tummy, opening up through the heart, gazing towards the back of the space. Deep inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist deeper. From here, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Option to open up through the arms, gazing up towards the sky. Now as you exhale, look down towards the big toes. Allow the arms to release. We're pivoting around to the left side of the mat, so I'm gonna be facing away from you, but that's okay. Allowing the big toes to come in, the heels to go out. We're taking the fingers towards the big toes. If we can, look forward. Exhale, fold, well done. Tipping the weight into the toes. Deep inhales. Exhale, fold. Well done. One more breath. Can you tip the weight into the toes a little bit further? As you inhale, looking up, start to walk the hand to the front of the mat, pivot the foot forwards, heel to arch alignment. As you inhale, cartwheel the arms, take Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, flip the palm and reverse. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, reverse, straighten the front leg. As you exhale, arms come parallel. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, placing the right hand down, lifting the left arm up, finding your trikonasana triangle pose. Option here to bind the top arm behind if that's in your practice. Deep inhale. Exhale, looking down towards the ground, plant the palms. Option for one-legged chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, lift the chest up, double cobra. Exhale, shifting it back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale here. Exhale, allow the heart to melt back. Inhale, left leg lifts. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Start to push the foot over towards the right side, keeping the shoulders level. As you exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend it up. Exhale, knee towards left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee towards opposite elbow. Shoot it through, reaching the right arm up, full in triangle. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up, well done. Lowering down through the hips. As you exhale, hands come to heart center. Start to twist towards the left side. From here, we're aiming to get the thumbs in line with the heart center. 
Well, then, gazing down towards the big toe, lifting the back knee. Maybe if it's in your practice to open up here, you can. Deep inhale. And exhale. As you inhale, look forward. Exhale, release the hands, pivot the weight over towards the right side of the mat. From here, we're interlacing the hands behind us, look forward. Exhale, fold, allowing the head to become heavy, tipping the weight into the toes. Well done, deep inhales and exhales. Another deep breath in and out. As you inhale, release the hands, lift halfway. Pivot the front foot forwards, heel to arch alignment, cartwheel the arms, Virabhadrasana two. Exhale, bend the front knee more. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle. Exhale, arms come parallel. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, find your trikonasana, triangle pose. Option to bind the top and hand behind if it's in your practice. Gazing up towards the sky. As you exhale, look to the big toes, plant the palm. Option for one-legged chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, lift the chest, gaze up. And as you exhale, making your way back to downward facing dog. Allowing the feet to walk a little bit closer than they usually are. Pushing the chest back towards the thighs. From here, left hand comes towards the middle. Start to reach the right arm back towards the left ankle. Taking a bit of a twist here. These twists are known to have the ability to really release any stagnant energy being held in the body. Can you pull on the ankle and twist a little bit deeper? Inhale, coming back to center, swapping sides. Deep inhale. Exhale, release, coming back to your down dog. Inhale, right leg extends. Exhale, knee to nose, tuck it in, find your fire. Inhale, reach up, go slow. Exhale, knee towards right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee towards opposite elbow, shoot it through. Sweep the arms up, it's sticky, it's slow like a summer's day. Plant the left hand down, lift the right leg. As you inhale, bringing the knee in towards the nose, step it through, drop the back knee, rising up, Andalayasana. Exhale, hands come to heart center, take your twist. Engaging through the core, allowing the solar plexus chakra to do the work and cleansing for you. Tuck the back knee, lift, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. If you have this opening in the twist, feel free. Deep inhale. Exhale, look to the big toe. Start to shift the weight over towards the left side, wide-legged forward fold, allowing the hands to come in line with the heels if they can, tipping the weight forwards. Well done. If there's an inversion from your practice here, you're more than welcome to take it. But if you're not quite ready to take it, we'll be coming back to this space once more with the option again. Deep inhales. And exhales. On your next inhale, lifting halfway. Left hand comes to the middle of the mat, reaching the right arm up, creating a twist. Inhale here. Exhale, placing the right hand down, reaching the left arm up, gaze up. Exhale, fold, well done. Inhale, moving towards the front, pivot the foot, bend the front knee, cartwheel the arms, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, straighten the front leg and reverse. Exhale, arms come parallel. 
Inhale, reach forwards, find your Trikonasana. This strong pose, tuning into that solar plexus space once again. Maybe you bind the arm, gazing up. Inhale. Exhale, look down towards the big toe, plant the palms, lift the left leg up, standing splits. Well done, option to wrap the right arm around the leg. Option for handstand hops if they're in your practice today. Deep inhale. Exhale, allowing the big toes to come together. Sit the hips down, reach the arms up. Utkatasana. We're finding breath of fire here, Kapalabhati Pranayama. So as you're here, we're breathing in, and then we're going to forcefully exhale. Deep inhale, and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, folding forwards, release the neck, well done. Inhale, lifting halfway. And as you exhale, fold, release. From here, start to turn the hips towards the left side, well done. From here, let's turn the hips towards the right side. And we're taking a moment to find our side crow. So one elbow underneath the front knee, another elbow underneath the back hip. Look to the side and begin to lift the toes. Well done. Beautiful. Option if you have a jump back to take it. Lower halfway chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest up, dog or cobra. Exhale, shift it back. Downward facing dog. As you're here, take a moment, find a child's pose. Allowing for two deep lion's breath, fill the body. Exhale, side out through the mouth. Deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Taking this moment to come back to the intention we created for this practice. As you build this heat, what are you sending it towards releasing? When you feel ready, making your way up to a downward facing dog, allowing the hips to come up and back. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee towards left elbow, go slow. Inhale, extend, feel the full movement. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow, shoot it through, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, plant the palms. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Take your twist. Really engaging through the core, pulling it through, well done. Look at the big toe and lift the back knee. Option to open this up if it's within your practice. Deep inhale. Exhale, look down, pivot the weight over towards the right side of your mat, wide-legged fold, taking whichever variation was your favorite or moving into a headstand, sarasana if it's in your practice. Taking whatever variation with the feet. When you're ready, releasing yourself back down lifting halfway, left hand in the middle, reach the right arm up, exhale, inhale, lifting the left arm, exhale, come center, as you inhale, pivot the front foot forwards, heel to arch alignment, cartwheel the arms up, exhale here, inhale, reverse, 
Exhale, warrior two, well done. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg. Exhale, arms come parallel. Inhale, reach forwards. As you exhale, find your trikonasana, triangle pose. Option to bind that top arm, opening up through the top shoulder. Well done, deep inhales. Exhale, looking down to the big toe, place the hands down, lifting the right leg up. Find your standing splits. Again, option for handstand hops if you wish to take them, yogi's choice. Two more breaths, can you lift the toes a little higher? On your exhale, big toes come to touch. Inhale, sit the hips down, reach the arms up, Kapalabhati Pranayama for 10. Breathe in and begin. Three, two, one, exhale, fold. Take a moment, rock out the shoulders. Maybe you sigh it out. Then setting up for our side crow, this time the knees come over towards the left, placing the palms, looking to the side. Maybe you begin to take flight. If you're working on this, it can be really nice to give yourself a little bolster or a pillow. If you have a jump back, feel free to take it. Lifting the chest up, moving through a vinyasa wherever you are. And then we'll meet in a child's pose. <sighs> allowing the arms to wrap around the legs. Allowing the forehead to melt down towards the mat. Then as you inhale, option to work into Pincharayarasana with me, or if you're happy working into a headstand and that's within your practice, feel free. We're going to make our way into a dolphin pose. If you want big um, thumbs can come to, to overlap or touch, lifting the hips up. From here, walking the hips in, looking forwards, just beginning to create this strength, pushing into the shoulders. As you inhale, shift the weight forwards, exhale, shift it back. Take three more, inhale forwards, exhale back. Inhale forwards. Exhale back, one more. Beautiful. Now from here, if it's in your practice, you can begin to lift one leg up, look forwards. Maybe you play with floating the other leg. Maybe you're just playing with little hops. There will be some days where pinch is there, others it won't be, and that's okay. And then when you're finished, dropping back onto the knees, wrapping the arms around, taking another child's pose. And when you're ready, rolling yourself up, making your way to come to sit onto the hips. And we're making our way into a Navasana boat pose. The fire in the practice is still here. You're doing so well. Lifting the chest up. As you inhale, point the toes. Exhale, tap. Inhale, reach the arms and the toes. Exhale, tap. I like to think of the arms are like the sun rising in the morning. Can you create that sunshine? Exhale, tap it down. It's cheesy, but it works. Keeping that fire. Deep inhale and exhale. As you exhale, toes tap down. Fingers either come to the big toes or to the heels. The heels being the more challenging option for this. Can you hover the feet? And then maybe Extend them up towards the sky, allowing the shoulders to move away from the ears. Deep breath in. 
As you exhale, placing the soles of the feet down, coming onto the back of the body, setting up for your bridge or wheel pose, yogi's choice, allowing the soles of the feet to be close enough just to graze them. Then when you are ready, either pushing the hips up to a bridge pose or hands come behind the ears, taking a wheel pose. Working into whatever variations you like, you have five breaths. As you exhale, lowering yourself down, allowing the spine to stay in neutral just for a moment. And then rocking the knees from side to side. Taking deep breaths in and out. Well done. Then when you feel ready, hugging the knees into the chest, giving them a little squeeze and a hug, allowing the right leg to then cross over the left. The arms come out into a T-shape. Both knees go over to the side. Gaze comes over to the right. Legs go to the left. And as you arrive here, taking a deep breath in. And as you exhale, allowing the shoulders to melt down. Again, allowing this awareness to come back to your intention. Noticing if the body already feels a little softer and lighter. When you're ready, swapping sides, left leg comes on top, both knees come to the right. Gazing over to the left. As you inhale, coming back to center, giving the knees a little hug. And as you exhale, releasing into your final resting pose, option for Supta Baddha Konasana with the legs in butterfly. And as you're here, just allowing the hands to place onto the belly. Finding this connection with Mani Pura Chakra Feeling the breath underneath the hands. Allowing each breath to fill the body with this new prana, life force energy, this new fire for life and passion. As you exhale, can you allow all of that heat and fresh air to almost forcefully push anything you no longer need away from the body. Imagine that it can melt into the ground, be taken into the earth or the sky, leaving you with everything that you need, cleansing anything from you that no longer serves you. Allowing these moments to visualize the version of yourself you're becoming as we step into the light in this new season. May this practice forever remind you that we have the ability to create and also destroy. So often the creative process feels good, feels easy, 
for when it's time to cleanse and destroy what no longer serves us. We can meet resistance, not wanting to surrender to what we need most. But no, even as things get fiery, as you cleanse, as you might feel some parts of your life crumble around you, they truly are taking away and making way for you to step into a lighter way of being. Because with your higher self, you truly cannot carry that heaviness any longer. Know you are more than welcome to stay here. Or if you feel ready, you can deepen the breath. Let it go through the mouth. You can extend the arms and wiggle the toes, allowing the knees to come together if you're in Supta Baddha Konasana. When you're ready, you can hug the knees in, taking a moment to find so much love for your body and how it carried you through your practice. Maybe vowing to love it a little bit more each and every day and rolling over onto the right side of the body, your more yang and fiery side. And then making your way up to a comfortable seat, keeping the eyes soft and closed. As you arrive here, reaching the palms up, palm above the head, thumbs to forehead center for kindness in your thoughts, Thumbs to the lips for kindness in your words. And thumbs to heart center for kindness in your heart. Bowing forwards, namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's Summer Solstice Flow. If you enjoyed it, please do let me know, make a comment, send me a message, and do know that this is a practice you can come to throughout the entire season of summer whenever you feel you need it most. If you, as always, have any questions or just want to chat, feel free to comment below. But otherwise, I am sending you so much love and I will see you in our next class here on Soul Shella. Bye, guys.